As a homeschool mama, I am always on the hunt for something educational and fun to keep the kids learning and engaged. We have tried a few different subscription boxes in the past, and I've been looking into this one for a while, and we recently got the opportunity to try it. guys, today I'm going to be talking about a educational subscription box that we recently tried called KiwiCo. The kids always get so excited when the subscriptions come in the mail and it's got their name on it and they know there's going to be something fun inside and it's going to be a project they can do just for them. We recently got the opportunity to try four of the different boxes in each of the age ranges of my kids. So we got the doodle box for Hayden. It's designed for kids nine and up. Hayden is seven, but she is so artistically inclined, I knew that she would be able to handle it, and she was able to pretty well. We got the Kiwi Crate for Adriana. It is designed for ages five and up, and she is five. We did the Koala Crate for William and Zoe. They are both currently three. And we got the Cricket Crate for the twins. Now they are only 16 months old. Um, it was a little bit advanced for them. Right now Kiwi Co. is working on um, a box for that zero to two range, but they're not quite there yet. So we thought we would try this one anyways. We invited their cousin Tavy over and she is two and a half and it seemed really um, more fitting for her age range, but the twins were able to do it a little bit. So I would say that Kiwi Co. does really well at matching each of the boxes with the age ranges they're suggested for. Each of my kids was at the bottom of the age range or even a little bit younger, and I had to help them all just a little bit to kind of guide them through um, the activities that they had to do, but for the most part, it was definitely um, age appropriate and kept the kids engaged. KiwiCo does a really good job at breaking down the activities, so if you need to take a break, um, you can come back to it later. It's simple, but there's still quite a lot for them to do. It kept them engaged for hours. A lot of the other subscriptions we've tried, um, there's just not a whole lot to them, so I was really excited to see just how much comes in them and how long it was able to keep them engaged for. I love that each of them also came with their own little magazine and information, so there is learning there along with the activities, and it was just so fun. So overall, we absolutely love them. I definitely plan on ordering some more. I'll probably hold off on the twins until they're just a little bit older, but for the older kiddos, um, they were really great. I already uploaded um, four videos of each of the boxes we did and I can link to those below and then in this video I'll also include just a summary of what's really in these boxes. You can see just a little bit of what they put in here. Um, this The doodle crate was the felt succulent crate this month and that's the one that Hayden did. The kiwi box um, was called Me and My Body and they got to make little plush organs. There's a big body map and a stethoscope. <laughs> the koala crate was rainbows. They made a bag, a plush rainbow pillow. There was also the window clean and the ocean crate for the toddlers came with its own boardwalk. A little fun felt game where you could go fishing and they did the fishy similar style to the koala crate. So. We really enjoyed our boxes, the kids love them, and we're excited to try more. <laughs> 